Welcome back to Chernobylite. Last episode, we basically got through the prologue. We might even still be in the prologue a little bit, I'm not sure. Just got to the first place where we can do some base building and built one thing, a workshop. It's rather empty now. By the way, I'm very sick, so that's why my voice is all fucked up and stuffy. <clears throat> so sorry about any mucusy sounds or, you know, throat clearing. So, we have a home. We can build some stuff. That's one of the big things I want to focus on. Um, as far as quests go, as well, we also have these four quests. And the one that we got at the very end of the last episode is the one we got from this mysterious person, Tarakan, talking to us on the radio, being very coy, not wanting to be open about what they wanted to talk about because they were worried people might be listening in on the transmission. So, using a lot of coded words, they wanted us to meet them at somewhere near the Moscow Eye. I have no idea where that is, and there doesn't appear to be any names on the map, surprisingly enough. Maybe you need to go across a place, like come across it to reveal it? I'm not sure. But no place has a name at all. And again, even this place doesn't have a name, so maybe they just don't have names at all. Well, we'll find it as we explore. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's try to craft some stuff now. So as soon as I built the workshop, it said that it unlocked other buildable things. Which are these things. And also, I can also make stuff in the workshop itself. But let's just do base buildables before workshop buildables. Unity. All kinds of tools that help you build things. From an ordinary nail to electrical lathe. Lathe. Tools versus unit. Why is it called Unity? That's a weird name. Anyway, it's basically another type of workshop. Oh, oh, can I actually make it? What does it take? What does it cost? I don't see a cost anywhere. Maybe these things don't have costs? That seems unlikely. Well, let's just try to build it. Oh, wait, what? Buildable slash unity? What the hell is this? Is this a sub-menu? Unity. F. And then it opens up... These two? Survival. It looks like a box of plants. I don't understand. I think this is... This, <laughs> this seems really unfinished. What? I clicked on unity and now I'm here? Buildables, slash unity, slash crafting tables, like I'm in a file directory. Hydraulic press. Now that's going to take some stuff. Electronic parts and mechanical parts. Electrical lathe. Laboratorium. Okay. Okay. Buildables. Tools. So... Oh, the workshop is a type of tool. I see. So stuff is kind of buried in a lot of different categories. The workshop is the only thing I can make within tools, which is kind of weird because in Unity is also tools. Yeah, this is like plants, I guess. And then within the plants menu, there's lots of plant stuff. And a Q-Wave generator, <laughs> which requires mushrooms. I'm sorry. <laughs> why, why does a piece of machinery require mushrooms? I'm really curious about that. Okay, well, tools seem like a good idea. Um, ooh, look at the left side of the screen, the comfort of life in base and power access. It seems like tools actually lower comfort. Hmm, minus 20% and also power access minus 20%. It's a clunky hydraulic press that lets you produce ammunition for all weapons. That sounds very important. Let's put that somewhere, shall we? Maybe... Right there. Not enough power in the base. Build a generator or scrap power-consuming devices to reduce power consumption. Hmm. Electrical lathe. So none of this matters without power. How do I make power? Decorations. Electronics might be in there. Ah, oh, yeah. Generator. Or generators. It's the category. 
lighting, entertainment. Only one type, a basic, that I can make right now. Um, oh, I need a little bit more flammable substances to make it. Does it require constant fuel, or is it just a one-time cost of flammable substances? I don't know, but this is the thing I want to make next. Also reduces comfort of life in base. How much does it take to build things like furniture, storage, beds, chairs, tables? Yeah, again, these are categories, not an item. So storage, there's quite a lot here. There's a lot of things you can build. Uh, it takes mechanical parts, a surprisingly large amount of them, but just mechanical parts. Oh, pantry requires chemicals and flammables? How am I making this pantry? Weapons cabinet. Yeah, I don't really have the resources for much of anything. I suppose a bed might be good. I think I already have a bed over there, though, through that door, and I can't seem to sleep in it, so I don't know if I want to waste my time with that. <laughs> Why does making a sofa take herbs? How are you making these things? I just want to know. Can I make a chair? Chairs take herbs! A stool takes chemicals! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Anyway, I don't think I can build much else right now. And I can't use that until I have power, so for now I think it's just the workshop I can use. This thing doesn't take power. I really want some lighting in here. It's very dark, especially without my flashlight on. So, what can I make? It, what the f... Use. Wait. An ordinary work tip, it lets you manufacture commodities like lathe or hydraulic press. Oh, using that just opens up the build menu. So there's nothing, you don't gain any special thing from using it. It's just by having it, it unlocks recipes. Okay, well then, there's something else I can do here. We have some quests. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here except try to go up there and go out. I haven't been down here, though. Can I, I can't build down here. Do I have any resources hanging around? Flammables so I can make a generator? Alright, let's go up. Это вот тот огромный радар. Его даже отсюда видно. В любом случае, это пустая трата времени. А у нас припасы заканчиваются. Давай сворачиваться и выбираться еще надо. Сможем сделать это в любой момент. С помощью манипулятора я смогу открыть портал, и мы выберемся. Но я не сделаю этого, пока не найду Татьяну. Trust. Trust Olivier or Tarakin or or what about Tatiana? Trust Tatiana or for Tatiana says he doesn't understand. Love is more important than risk. For Takaron, that man can know something. Olivier, he's right to be cautious. I should at least keep my guard up. Yeah, I mean, all of these are kind of true. Tarakin might know something. I want to see if I can. Try to find something about Tatiana. Find a wormhole that will take me to a reality where they still exist or something. And also, I should be careful. I'll just say I trust you, Olivier. I should be careful. No, да, похоже, что ты прав. А может нет. Надо бы проигнорировать его. Или по крайней мере быть очень, очень осторожным. Ну, наконец-то разумная мысль. 
В любом случае, мне это не нравится. Нам надо поскорее отсюда сваливать. Просто подумай об этом. Может быть, это мой единственный шанс найти Татьяну. Что? После 30 лет? Черт, ты правда думаешь, что она живет, поживает где-то в глубине зоны? Избушка? Садик? Котика завела? Очнись, Игорь! Очнись, твою мать! Я оценю твою заботу, но этот разговор окончен. Раз уж тебе хочется вести себя как псих, будь хотя бы вооруженным псих. Вооружен, опасен и совсем без крыши. Что может пойти не так? Just messed with the audio mixing a little bit, because I think the dialogue is really quiet compared to other stuff, especially the music. I think it's still, the music's still too loud. Let's try 40. Whoa, what a view. Oh, that is so cool looking. This game has NVIDIA and Soul. Let me see if this shows up. Yeah, the overlay shows up on the recording. Good. Yeah, the powerful screenshot taking thing. Look at those arms. Beautiful T-pose. Look at how freaking detailed this game is. Look at how detailed that thumb is. I mean, come on. Look at how dirty these fingers are. Nasty. Beautiful, nasty fingers. Anyway, yeah, I want to take a screenshot of this. Uh, let's try this. I'm assuming the UI disappears when I take a screenshot. Eh, it doesn't look like it does. It doesn't surprise me. I mean... I think that's something the game would have to specifically implement, and being in early access, I imagine that's a really low priority, doing something like that. So when I'm not doing something like punching, right now my arms are T-posing. That's a hilarious thought. I can't see them, but they're T-posing. <laughs> Binoculars? Assign missions. Oh, is it not an item I can use in general? It's like specific for getting missions? Interesting. So, yeah, you don't see these names on the map, but like when you're looking out here, you can see what stuff is and where it is. Choose a mission which you'll do alone, and the one you want to assign to your ally. And you're ready to start a mission. Hmm. I wasn't expecting it to to work this way. Oh, this is another case where I can't really use the mouse. I kind of have to use the keyboard to switch between things. Assign to location. Like, I don't know if I want to assign Olivier to anything. I'd be worried that they're going to get hurt. Also, they have a broken arm. So, they're not very combat ready, you know? Mm. Oh, 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 look at the top right. All these different missions have days left. So, if I don't assign Olivier to something, then... I'm assuming everything, every mission probably takes a day, so I guess you can't do everything, probably even with Olivier's help, because we have three missions with one day left. What's that percentage next to Olivier? 99%, 99%, 56%, and 80%. Is that like a chance that they'll be okay <laughs> or succeed? Or are they going to die? Supply drop on Kopachi. But wait. Why would rest in base have an 80% chance of them succeeding? Like, what's the 20%? Maybe that's not a succeed chance. I don't know what that is. Well, let's back out for a second here. 
No, everything is not ready. Go on heist? Sure. Your final mission. Take your resources, equipment, and companions and try to get into power plant one more time. Not available in early access. Oh. Okay, well... Hmm... Well, it, I definitely don't want to do a memento from the past because that has two days left, so let's not waste the opportunities of doing the other things. Stay at base also sounds not very good in terms of getting stuff done. It looks like mm, on the center right next to the name of the mission, it also shows the effects upon all your different resources and stuff. Like, rest in base is not going to take much of anything. But other stuff looks like, like it'll take some food and some something and some herbs. Or maybe that means how much I'll find. That probably means how much I'll find of that stuff. That would make sense. Um, I'm going to do... Mm, there's a lot of activity going on lately. We intercepted a message about a supply drop. Go to Pripyat Port and make sure Nar won't find it. We need those supplies. Or we intercepted a radio message about supply drop. Oh, that's another supply drop. I don't know. Let's do a supply drop on Kobachi. Why not? We'll assign me. I'm on that. And. Oh wait, Pripyat Port says work in progress, meaning the mission isn't finished? I mean, I can still assign him, so... Go for it, Oliver. Hmm, yeah, when I loaded up the game... I had to go through this as well, so it seems like this kind of wormhole traversal thing is sort of how loading works. And of course, in universe, it's also how getting to places works. И только так. Это же крейсер. Day one, Kapachi Village, afternoon. You are now in enemy zone. If you want to escape to refuge, use the, use the portal generator from your inventory. Okay. So the portal generator is... Wait a minute. Where's my mouse cursor? I just realized my mouse cursor isn't appearing in game. Let's try this again. Restart of the game. You're now at enemy zone. Do I have my cursor? Yes, I do. Thank God. <laughs> That's the portal generator. Clunky in design, but very sophisticated. High-tech tool that uses Chernobylite to create stable wormholes. So I can just, like... It's in my quick menu. I can just use that. Make a portal and go home. Interesting. So. I have a gun. For the first time. I don't know how to use it. Right mouse, right mouse button to aim. That makes sense. Can you bring those controls up again? Please don't use this thing. Change ammo types. I don't have any other ammo types. Left click when aiming to fire. That makes sense. Looks like I have 11 shots in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 chambers. Um, can I shoot without aiming? No. So you have to aim to shoot. So no... That's interesting. No hip fire. Huh. Sorry if the game just got a little bit worse looking. I just turned the graphics from high to medium. Much better performance. It was a little bit laggy when I looked in certain directions. Gosh, I still love how the trees look when they're blowing in the wind. 
They look so good. <sighs> oh, I also just realized there's no crosshair. Of course, you wouldn't really need a crosshair if you can't hip fire. You don't really need a crosshair when you're zoomed in because you have the sights of the weapon. But anyway, I kind of like that. You have to take aimed shots. And you have to use the iron sights. I'm sure some weapons have scopes as well. But I like that a lot. I wonder how the combat's going to be. Probably shouldn't have my gun out just in general. Oh. Radiation? Yeah, a little bit. Was oh, it the statue? Yeah, it's a statue that has a lot of radiation, I think. I think that's a bunch of names of uh, probably soldiers that died, I imagine. Let's scan for ammo. Why not? Yeah, not surprisingly, we didn't find any. <laughs> what about, like, mushrooms? Surprisingly, none. Um, where are we exactly? Wait, we're in... Isn't this the Out of Bounds? I thought that... Uh, I thought that this stuff was the inbounds and this cross-hatched stuff was out of bounds. Huh. Okay, I don't get that. I'm just gonna go run over here and start to explore some buildings. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, I think the, f I don't think this is a hard limit. These lines. Yeah, there's not like an invisible wall or a fence or something. The limit is just the radiation starts to get really bad as you start to get further inside of of here. I see. It's like a soft boundary. That makes sense. So I could run over to these run over here to these buildings, but I'll probably die from radiation. So maybe not. My goal is 230 meters this way. I keep trying to click and drag on the map, but I can't do that. I have to use WASD to move. It's very weird. Oh, it's over here. So I guess I'll just follow this road down. Go down here, take a left. Okay, I want to just follow every dirt road. Oh wait, this dirt road is the road? This big road is this dirt road? So it is. Okay. So foggy. Hmm. It's weirdly dark. I think I'm going to change the gamma. There, I think that's a little bit better. Everything's so lush. I guess I could scan for stuff, but I think I'd rather just search the whole place, you know? I don't know, electronic parts? Okay, there's some. This hurts. Oh, that sounds like a monster. Oh, yes. I just saw a tiny peek of it. It was glowing. Oh, right. We can do stealth takedowns. What's that noise? Where 
did it go? Is it teleporting? That might be the only way in. I might have to go back there. Sounds sort of like it's teleporting. Whoa. What the hell? It is. Oh god! Uh. Huh. Okay. That was scary and weird. <laughs> Great. So the number in the bottom right does not reflect how many that you have loaded or anything like that. It simply reflects how many shots you have in total. And then the dots, or it's probably different for different weapons, represents how many you have loaded. But the number is your total number of shots that you carry. Can make a generator now. I've got 0.9 more flammable. Oh, it's those those gay women again. Blessed. Is this where I came from? Yes, that's where I came from. So perhaps going up here would be a good idea. Uh, can I? Can I, like, grapple onto things? I don't think so. What? Okay. Does it respawn, or...? How's my health doing? That's my health on the top left? No, it's not. This is my health. It's not too bad. Food ration. Will last for decades, but tastes like cereal and broth. That is gross. If I eat it, does it heal me? I can't eat it. I can eat food? <laughs> what? And we're back here again. I don't want to be down here any longer. I fear it's going to respawn again. I saw that there was tons of stuff in here. There must be either another way in or a way that I can get up. And that just goes out. Let's just run around. Run around this place. Oh. Oh, here we go. Well, that's cursed. Well, that's blessed. So many toys. Oh yeah, there's a lot of beds here. Is this, um... I don't know, an orphanage or something? Possibly? Oh, I hear another one of those things. I think they respawn. Oh. Oh, I have no shots left. Uh. Okay, I punched it. Didn't get a lot of feedback from that. <laughs> I 
Right, I want to get out of here before the next one comes back. There they are. I think that's about everything I care to get. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, where are we? We've gone very off track. So this must be a little spot of very high radiation. Quite close to this building. No, let's just start to head in the direction of my goal. I have no ammo. <laughs> and it sure feels like I'm not going to find any. I suppose I should be scanning for ammo, shouldn't I? Oop. Oh. Wait. Those are herbs. Okay. Wait, is this set to others? Hold on. Food ration. Mushrooms. Oh, I thought this was ammo because this is the icon for ammo. According to my crafting menu, somewhere in my journal. But I guess it's not. Yeah, it's just other. Maybe you can't even find ammo in the world. Maybe you have to craft it or something. It wouldn't surprise me. This way. Mm -mm. Barbed wire fins. Ah, not that big of a problem. Oh, <laughs> what is this place? Where is it on the map? Not oh, just a bunch of... Sm on the map it just looks like a bunch of small buildings, like a... Neighborhood. Look at how good all that peeling wallpaper looks. can't take that. Oh. Are there weather? Like, does the weather change? I wonder. Weather cycles? Or is that just some zone stuff going on over there? Sounds like it's getting windy. Ooh. I see somebody over there. Couple people, I think. Should I assume that anybody I find is going to be hostile? I guess? I want to keep exploring these buildings. Look at how lived in 
all these places to look. They really are just great looking. Lived in and nasty. Can I climb this ladder? Ah, oh, damn. The people are somewhere vaguely in this direction. I'm not sure exactly where now. Oh, there they are. I could silently take one out. I think the other one would probably notice, though. Oh, oh shit. Somebody's sp spotting me. Oh, there's one there. Okay, if they're going to spot me, then they're lethal. They're, they're bad. Then, let's go around and get that one. Perhaps after I take them out, I'm hoping when I take them out it's quiet and nobody else will hear. Then maybe I can steal their weapons and ammo and then actually be able to shoot someone. Yeah, that was silent. And yes, I can take their semi-automatic carbine. And our weapons can't be picked up without a bio-lock disabler. Fuck! They do have revolver ammo, though. How, how much? <laughs> One shot. <laughs> okay. Well, I can silently take... Oh, there's even more. Well, let's take out this... Wait, who's seeing me? Somebody's seeing me from this direction? Where? I don't know where they are. Like, it says they're, like, in that direction. Like, in that building? Uh. I probably can't take this person out without getting spotted. I'm gonna try to go down and then around. What the fuck am I seeing? I'm seeing something very weird up here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like that. The fuck is that? No. No. No, no, no. Lots of radiation and... scariness. Being the zone and in such early, early access, I have to say to myself, is this the zone being creepy and fucked up or is this a bug? <laughs> it's hard to tell. Either way, it's unnerving, especially because I don't actually know the answer. Yeah, I think this is the building where I suspect somebody was seeing me from. Oh, come on. Please. Who? Who? How? Is that just the two people seeing me? Somehow the one's facing away from me? Yeah, like there's nobody in this building. Hmm. That's funky. Right, well I guess I'll just try to take these two out and hopefully I can do them both silently. Oh. Yeah, I think that person's seeing me somehow. 
I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, damn, that's super silent. Wow. That's literally silent. Literally not a single noise came from them. <laughs> Reached level one. Find a mentor to learn a new skill. There's mentors? Oh, so I can't pick any of these up. Three revolver ammo. Some mechanical parts. Three revolver ammo. Okay. Let's load this thing up. Damn, that takes a while to reload. I think that's all of them. I'll leave my gun out just in case it isn't. Ooh, where's the downstairs? Ooh, it goes nowhere. Okay, that's enough of this place. Um, my goal is actually not very far away. Straight this way. Another barbed wire fence. Oh. That was easy. Oh! Ha ha ha! Where's my bolts? I want to have- I want to have bolts that I can throw to distract them. <laughs> Could you use them as distractions in the Stalker series? I know that they were mainly intended for testing for anomalies. But did they also function as distractions? I don't remember. Ooh, there's another one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, finish, 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 finish. Yeah, this is the quest area. This is the supply drop. Smoke going up. There's a helicopter over here. I wonder if it has resources. Helicopters were always. In the Stalker series, helicopters, helicopter crash sites always had really interesting and good equipment. Hmm. Oh, wow, that was close. Given the amount of ammo I'm getting from these enemies and the fact that I can't use their weapons, I feel like this is the sort of game where you're not you're really, really not meant to just like run and gun. You meant to really pick your battles carefully, I think. Ooh, there's a lot of radiation here. Not too much, though. Hmm, it's kind of getting too much. Is this... it's not marked off on the map. I don't know what the effects of radiation is high. Like, is it hurting me right now? Or will it when it gets to red, maybe? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... That red radiation stuff, I think that's a limiter on my max health because of radiation poisoning. Well. Also, my mouse cursor has disappeared again. Oh well. I'll just live with it. Oh, they're looking in this direction. I 
kind of want to just shoot them, but the thing is, they have big weapons. I'm hurt. And I only have a puny little revolver. Please turn around. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. Jesus! Wait, am I okay? Uh, I can't believe I'm alive. I thought that was me dying. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Yeah, this is not the game where you want to run and gun. That hurt a lot and also took a shitload of ammo. Even headshots are not one-shot kill at all. Perhaps because they're wearing armor. Okay, I think that's all of them. This is it. Hack. Quest complete. I'm taking radiation. Get out of here. Whew. You've finished your first quest. You can use a portal generator from your inventory to go back to the refuge. Ooh. Secrets? It goes even deeper down. Uh, there we go. High radiation, but we're still in, in the safe zone. This looks important. God, look at all these things. Look at how detailed they are. Oh. Just lightning. I think. This place is so damn eerie. It goes even deeper down. This is too deep. I feel like I just heard something. It's a gas mask. Why can't I take it? Look at that rusty sign. I really do love how this game looks. This place is confusing and cramped. Claustrophobic. Right back outside. Where are we now? Pretty close. I guess I should just use the portal generator and go back. I've got a bunch of resources. I should heal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know how this works. Hold right click to open the portal. Okay. Well. Oh. Источник позывной Красный Глаз утверждает, что РЛС Дуга – это не только часть антибаллистической загоризонтной системы. Согласно другому нашему источнику позывной Белоснежка, КГБ интересуются экспериментами по управлению сознанием. Для этого им понадобится очень много энергии и антенн. Большая антенна. Нет, нет, Танюша, ты неправильно играешь, солнышко. Здесь в доме Мор, дорогая, и только так. Это же Крейсли, один из величайших композиторов всех времен. 
Ты, пожалуйста, давай без загадок. О, я поделюсь едой со своими товарищами. Это хорошая мысль. Uh, so this is sharing rations. Oh, all of you had a success, apparently. Good. Their reward is two rations. Status healthy and stable. Mission case with gets dropped on Pripyat. Location Pripyat. Yes. That makes sense. Uh, change assignment. Are we already back from assignments? Same ration as Igor. Yes. Uh, pressing V to do same ration as Igor doesn't seem to do anything. Change assign. Oh, not change assignment of mission. Change assignment of ration. I guess. Half portion. Just enough food to live through another day. Your companion will survive, but they won't be particularly motivated to work. Normal portion, which is one, and then two. Two portions, double the ration. Companion with full stomach will be healthy and happy. Okay. Yeah, so there's, there's a whole scavenging survival group dynamic thing. Um... Healthy and happy. I mean, I should have a double ration because it might heal me, it sounds like. And Olivier has a broken arm, so they're going to get a double ration. Yeah. And then what do we have? No food. Yeah, I'll get a double ration too. Okay. Does radiation sickness go away, or do I need to make stuff for that? Oh, hasn't gone away yet, and I'm badly hurt. <clears throat> mm, how are the missions looking? Actually, I can't even use the binoculars? Uh, where's all of you? We're going to do some quest stuff. During the evening, you can build new upgrades for your base and spend time with companions. Go to bed in your room to begin a new day. Ah, I see. Okay. Spend some good time together, all of you. Oh, I can train. I should spend some time with them and acquire new skills. Okay. Advice. Train. Uh, I assume I can do multiple things and not just like one and then you're done. <laughs> Remove them from my party. No, let's train. Можешь чему-нибудь, ну, научить меня? Если ты хочешь выжить в зоне боевых действий, нужно улучшить навыки стрельбы. Могу показать тебе пару приемов, но это займет время. Да и легко не будет. Я тебя жалеть не собираюсь. Hmm. So two things I can pick from. Pistol shooting. I want to shoot effectively, or I want to move more quietly. Hmm. I feel like I should focus on stealth. Let's do stealth. Train, spend, social point. Ладно, давай начнем. Иди за мной готовься. Learned the shadow. Does that uh, appear? Like in here? It probably appear under skills, right? Yeah, the shadow. Uh, you are a ninja. Silent as a shadow. You make twenty-five percent less noise. Most people won't notice you're near. Good. That sounds quite good. Advice. Слушай, Оливер, что-то я запутался. Хотел бы я тебе помочь. Прости, если разочаровал. Слушай, Оливер, что-то я запутался. Хотел бы тебе помочь. Oh. 
Oh, thanks for the advice. <laughs> maybe, uh, depending on what quest you're in and whatnot, maybe there's more specific advice for your situation, but right now there's nothing to say, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can build anything. I'm sure we can. We definitely can build at least a generator, which would be super nice. <clears throat> Uh, electronics, generators, basic generator. Yeah, we have plenty of stuff for this. I feel like having it in the center makes sense. Because then all the wires can go to the center of the room and you can trip over them. Also, they won't have to be as long, the connections. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Solid logic. Oh, I think the lights just turned on just from having built it. So there's already built-in lights. Cool. Power excess right now is 140%. Comfort of life and base is 65%. This place sucks. What do I build a light? So like this is going to take up 2% of our power excess, so very little. And we'll improve our comfort of life and base by 5%. Takes only one mechanical part, that's nothing. The one electronic part, though, is something. I don't have that much electronic parts. Uh, I don't think I should focus on lights right now. <laughs> yeah, well, what's the difference between these? This one takes less power and also gives you less comfort of life and base. And the reflector... Takes 3% of our power excess, but gives 10% more comfort of life and base. Base. It seems like it's the case that the bigger you build, the more efficient it is in terms of power to comfort ratio, I think. Yeah, because like, this is 2% power excess, this is 3. So it's only a 50% increase in power excess usage. But it gives a 100% increase in the comfort of life in base, 5% to 10%. It does, of course, also take more... Um, more materials, but just one more mechanical part. Same electronic parts. Anyway, why am I trying to, like, min-max this shit when I'm not even going to build it? <laughs> why? Entertainment. Black and white TV. Color TV. Ooh. Radio. I already have one, don't I? I guess we have a... No, yeah, we have a radio. I think this is more of a consumer radio, whereas what we have over there is a... I don't know. A talking radio? <laughs> I don't know. Mm, TV takes a lot of power, but also gives a lot of comfort of life and base. I wonder what the effects of having a terrible comfort of life and base is. I guess it'll hurt your mental health over time, and I don't know what effect that would have, but it would be bad. Mental health is important. Anyway, no more electronics. Let's make... Well, decorations are purely decorations. You take, like, herbs and mushrooms and herbs. But that's a way to get more comfort of life in base. <laughs> Increases it by 1%. Woohoo! But it doesn't take any power. Structures. Wooden wall or fence mesh. Yeah. Yeah, no thanks. That takes a lot of chemicals for some reason. Why do you need chemicals to make a wall? Storage. Bad. No, let's just focus on tools right now. Or unity, I guess. Oh, a garden would be good. I can't make any of these though, can I? No, I cannot. Hydraulic press. We already made one. Electric lathe, I can't make... Okay, I can't really make anything. Okay, then. Can I make ammo? Like, yeah, okay, okay. So some things do have their own crafting menus, and you have to use the thing. Using this thing just takes you to the normal build menu, just like pressing B does. Same. But this is its own unique thing. So what does it take? Revolver ammo... And shotgun slug. Oh, I can't wait to have a shotgun. Revolver ammo is, uh... How many is this going to make? Is this going to make one shot? No way. It wouldn't make a single revolver. Um, 
round. For the cost of two flammable? That's no way. It's probably, I don't know, seven or something or whatever comes in a case. Regular bullets for the Nagant revolver. Nagant, I don't know. A well-rounded projectile with moderate stopping power, range, and cost. Mm, I don't know about moderate stopping power. Took a lot of shots to kill those people. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll try to make it. Let's try to make it. Seven to fourteen. Yeah, so that made a full... A full... A full chamber. It's not a magazine. <laughs> a full chamber. Seven more rounds. Okay. Cool. Look at these things wave around. This place isn't quite so gloomy now that it's got some lights. You know what? I want to build a light. Just one. I do have the stuff, right? Yeah, let's make a reflector. It only takes 3% of our power excess. Heck yeah. This is like a... These are like work lights. Not exactly the most... Uh, homiest type of lighting. But the most powerful. Boop. Oh, I thought I was facing the other way. What the hell? Well, fuck it. Let's build two. Back to back. Yeah. 85% comfort of life in base. It's brighter. Starting to feel like a proper home. Let's go to sleep. Use the investigation board to keep track of your research. My what? Ah. Um, the conspiracy. There's a rumor some of my friends from back in the day were involved in some kind of conspiracy. Is it true? What was their goal? What did they do to Tatiana? Facts 0 out of 4, clues 0 out of 7. Wormholes closed. Right, so I think this is the way you chase the main story in the game. You collect clues and I guess you can use those clues to enter wormholes to go into those moments or places or something. But I have nothing right now. Let's go to sleep. I got a feeling that meeting that strange person that talked to us on the radio is going to be the way that we continue the main quest. But it also said it would expire in a couple days, so if you let that expire and that's the only way to go on the main quest, that wouldn't work out. So I don't know, maybe not. Good morning. Hold on. Ah, shit. Our, <laughs> our place is flooded. Why? Why? Where did the water come from exactly? Do we have a hole in the roof? I mean, this place definitely isn't in great condition, but... Hmm. Well, I don't think I can do anything about that. Oh, it's raining outside. You don't want to talk? Oh, you do want... No, you don't want to talk. What do we got today? Copachi? Didn't we already do that? Or is this something different? Uh... Well, that's just explore. Explore in the search for supplies and clues. Okay, always a good thing. Eye of Moscow. I sh I should do that one myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. That... <laughs> My status is dying. 
<laughs> all right, let's go do it. <laughs> and all of you. Mm, why don't you go to Kabachi and explore? Yeah, let's go. I need to find a campfire and craft herby stuff. And also search for herbs when I'm out in the wild. I desperately need herbs because I need to heal. Father, I've heard this one before. Day two, Moscow Eye afternoon. 